Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can use one of these potentiometers with this Arduino or any other Arduino. For example, it's a Nano but how to use this with a Nano or Uno or any other Arduino. Now why uh, we need to use this potentiometer with the Arduino? As we know that using a potentiometer we can take an uh, analog input in Arduino and then using that analog input we can use it for various stuff. For example, we can control our device speed or maybe any other things maybe it's a speed of something or anything like that now how this thing mainly works is if you see there are three uh, pins here now the connection will be something like this so at the outer there are two outer side pins now in one outer side pin we will give ground in another outer side pin we will get five volts okay and now with the middle pin we will connect one of the analog pins in Arduino then whenever we will use this knob the resistance of this potentiometer will change. So the voltage of the output, so basically the input voltage is 5 volts, but the output voltage from the middle pin will change depending on this knob. So by changing the resistance of this thing, we can change the output voltage. And that output voltage is the input in our Arduino. So the input voltage in our Arduino will change. And thus it will change the analog value. Now we will get an analog value from 0 to 1 to 0, uh, 1, 0, 2, 3 using this potentiometer. Now using that value we can do several things and in this video we are going to see how you can get the value in that Arduino and how you can use that value in our Arduino. Now like I said the connection is very much simple. There are three pins, two outer side pins. One of these pins will go to the ground pin and I will go to the 5 volts pin. Now there is no polarity so you can connect any pin with ground and any pin with 5 volts okay and the middle pin will go to an, any of the analog pins so in my case let's just connect one pin with the ground so i have connected this pin with ground and another outer pin uh, let's just connect it with the 5 volts So I have connected one pin to the ground and one pin to the 5 volts and then this middle pin we will going to connect it to analog pin. Now I am going to connect it to analog A2, analog 2 but you can connect it with any other analog pin you want. So this is all about the connection we need and then finally we need to connect the Arduino with our computer using this USB and we are done. Now let's see how you can take the value using our Arduino. So let me open the Arduino IDE. Now this is the code I'm going to use, but before we go to the code, let's see the setup we need to do. So we need to go to tools and then we need to go to uh, here board and you need to select Arduino Nano. If you're using Uno or any other board, just select that. Now in case of Arduino Nano, you need to also select the uh, particular like particular version. So for example, at Mega 328P or 168 and even if it's 328P, then it's uh, either it's old bootloader or new bootloader. In my case, I know it's the old bootloader in my case, but in your case, you need to see which uh, microcontroller is inside this. Now, then uh, we have to select the port also. In my case, it's COM6 because I know in COM1 there is some other device. So I know it's COM6. In your case, you need to find out which COM port it is. These three things you need to do before we write the code. And after doing that, we are ready to write the code. Now, it's a very simple code. We are defining pin number two as the port pin because we have connected our our that middle pin with the pin number two. We have a value uh, val variable uh, in which we are going to store the value we will get from our potentiometer. And then here we are just uh, defining the serial so that we can print the values in serial monitor. Finally, here here we are reading the uh, analog values from the port and we are also printing those values in the serial monitor and we are giving one second delay so what this code will do basically uh, in each second it is going to print out the value of that uh, potentiometer in our serial monitor now let me upload this code now it is uploading and it is uploaded now you open the serial monitor you will see some values like this now if now i change the just uh, rotate the knob you will see the value will change 
so the minimal minimum value is zero here like i said it will be zero and the maximum value if i just rotate it like this it is one zero two three okay so this is the maximum range and all those values will be inside their train zero to one zero two three and if we just move it you will see the value will change like this okay so now all this is analog values and now you can use this analog values for your purpose it could be anything you can even write this analog value to some other devices or maybe you can use it for your own purposes so let me show you one example where we are going to use this okay so this example is mainly taken from arduino cc so in their from their official website now what they have did is yeah in the same way okay so here we don't need cl monitor okay so what we they are doing is just there is a port pin like the last case but there is a led pin so as we know that the inbuilt led of arduino uh, there is a led here which is not glowing currently it is pin number 13 so if we high pin number 13 that led will glow so we are defining that led pin and in the same way we are like we are again taking the value from that pin port pin and now what we are doing we are making the pin high giving a delay of that particular second so for example from our potentiometer we got a value of 500 then we are going to give a delay of 500 milliseconds okay and then again we are uh, making it low and giving a delay of 500 milliseconds so basically it will blink the led but the delay the delay of blinking will be equal to the analog value of the potentiometer okay so let me run it so you will understand it clearly so this is just a simple example but you can use uh, the analog values in this way so now if we if you see uh, one led here is glowing okay it is constantly glowing now if i just change the potentiometer you will see it will blink very fast again if i ch change the value a little bit you will see i mean changing means i am just uh, just moving this rotating this knob you will see the speed of the blinking is changing again i move rotate it a little bit and now it is very much slow okay and if i uh, just make it max you will see the delay is almost one second why one second this is because i don't know if you can see the blink uh, this is because the maximum uh, input value the maximum analog value is 1024 which is 1024 milliseconds which is just one second that's why in the max value it is giving us one second delay and in the mean and if we just make it low you will see it will just blink very fast like here as you can see it is blinking very fast so in this way we can use the analog values from our arduino and we can do several things using this so guys this is all about this video so it's a very quick video now in my next video i am going to next video it is a video about a project so i'm going to use this concept so that's why i just make this video so that in next video you will not have any problem understanding this or doing this so this is all about this guys and uh, see you in the next video so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe our channel because so that you will always get the updates thank you